Wilson Golf has some great options, whether that be a blade, a cavity back, or a game improvement iron. And also at a slightly lower cost compared to competitors. We're gonna compare the differences and explain which iron you should play. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I'm holding three of the newer irons that Wilson has to offer. I've got the Wilson Staff Staff model, that is a blade. It is a more workable, playable golf club at 34 degrees of loft. I also have the Wilson Staff model CB. This has just come out new, and it's gonna be slightly more forgiving than the blade model, but also got the same amount of loft at 34 degrees. We also have the new Wilson D9 iron. This is gonna be your game improvement model. This club's gonna have 27 degrees of loft on it, but it's supposed to generate some high ball speeds and some lower spin to generate some more forgiveness for players that need a little extra help with their distance game or to bring that spin rate down for them. This is gonna be a great comparison. I'm gonna hit several shots with each model. We're gonna talk about the difference in feel, difference in forgiveness, and difference in workability. Let's hit some golf shots. Straight ball. Doesn't get better than that. This is my first time hitting the Wilson Staff Model CB iron. I'm not gonna lie, it felt very soft off the club face. I was actually pleasantly surprised. So it does have the 8620 carbon steel face, which is gonna help dampen that, that vibration a little bit and also make it feel very soft off the club face. One thing I kind of noticed when I was hitting the CB model was, with the exception of the first shot that I pulled a little bit to the left, and the last shot when I caught a little bit on the tall side, didn't quite catch it perfect, was the, all the other shots, the spin rate was right around about 5,500 RPM. So the spin consistency was really impressive. Now I play a club that does have also have 34 degrees of loft on the seven iron, and my spin rate usually is kind of in the low to mid 5,000 mark. So I did like the fact that this spun just a little bit more, even though I was drawing the ball significantly here as well. So I like to draw the ball a little bit. There's a couple of shots where I pulled a little bit too far to the left. That's more user error, but the Wilson Staff CB model felt incredibly good. Also looking down at a dress, I also like the fact it doesn't look like it's got that much offset on it as well. So I'm excited to now test a club that won't have anywhere near as much offset and that is going to be the Wilson Staff Model Blade Iron. So first looking down here at the Staff Model Blade, definitely a little sleeker from heel to toe there. Now it's not a crazy amount, but it is noticeable and a little smaller club head with a little smaller sole here. So this is definitely for your ball strikers. So let's test it out. There's the miss hit. Wasn't bad. The Wilson Staff model is definitely not the smallest blade that I've ever looked down at. It actually has got a little bit of little extra forgiveness, which is quite nice because we all know blades are definitely hard to hit. We noticed I had that one shot that I kind of pulled over there to the left side, but otherwise I had seven other really nice shots with this club. One thing that stood out to me though was the spin rate. I was kind of surprised that the spin rate with the staff model actually was a little bit lower. So we're talking about 200, a little over 200 RPMs, more spin with the blade than with the cavity back. And that's also kind of interesting considering I was fading the ball a little bit more with the staff versus the CB, which is drawing a little bit more there too. So it's kind of interesting, about 200 RPMs more spin just slightly less ball speed with the staff model. You'd expect that it's not quite as forgiving as the CB. Even though I was swinging about 0.7 miles an hour faster with the staff model, I did generate about 0.7 miles an hour more ball speed with the staff model. So that was kind of interesting. 
just showcasing how a cavity back is going to give you just a little bit more forgiveness, while a staff model is definitely going to be a more kind of workable, playable iron. It's not going to be as forgiving. And I wouldn't recommend everyone playing a blade, that's for sure. I would probably lean towards a cavity back or a little more gave improvement iron. Felt incredibly good. Uh, looking down at it, very, very nice top line there. So again, I said it's not the smallest blade I've ever seen. Comparing it to the CB model, I'm just noticing just a slightly smaller profile in general. So speaking of forgiveness, so we want some forgiveness with our iron. So the final club we're going to test is the new D9. So this club is going to be quite different compared to these two models. These two models, you'll notice that I was carrying the bull kind of close to about 180 yards in general, 180 to 181. The D9 has seven degrees less loft on it than these others. So naturally, less loft's can lead to more ball speed and less spin. I'm going to swing at 88 miles an hour again with the D9 and kind of showcase the differences. Now that we've hit the blade, we've hit the cavity back, now let's try that game improvement iron. That's uh, quite a different flight. That, that club almost carried 30 yards further than the CB and the blade. Oh, was a miss hit. <laughs> the Wilson D9 is incredibly forgiving. I'm looking at my ball speed numbers here. You can kind of see 132.0 to 133.5. So very, very consistent on the ball speed. A lot of in the 132 mile an hour category. So that's going to give us some nice consistent carry distances, even though the ball is going to go significantly further because the loft is a little bit stronger. Not just a little bit, it is quite strong. It's seven degrees stronger at 27 degrees of loft. Now, this is gonna fit a player that does need to bring that spin rate down, is looking for a little extra distance out of their iron, but it also is gonna give you stopping power. Even though the ball is spinning less and going further, it still is flying nice and high. So that's kind of important there to note because the CG on this club has been kind of been positioned. So if I'm gonna look at the difference between these two clubs, a blade is kind of a blade. It kind of is what it is. It's kind of that one piece kind of construction. Well, the D9, you'll notice there's a lot larger sole. When you have a larger sole, you're able to move that weight down and make the club a little easier to launch and increase that forgiveness. Size-wise, after hitting the staff model, yes, the D9 looked a lot larger, but it was extremely forgiving. So those players that need a little forgiveness, it is a great option. Uh, one thing I kind of noticed there too is spin rate. Spin rate was significantly less, just a little bit under 4,000 versus a little bit over 5,000 with the other two models. And finally, look at address. The Wilson D9 has a, quite a bit more offset looking down at the club versus the other two. That is gonna help turn that club over a little bit easier for those players have a hard time getting that club face nice and square. Let's break it all down and take a look at the numbers between the three models. We've got seven shots with each club to talk about the numbers. So first thing I want to touch on with the D9 with it being a lighter club head is I was really trying to match up that club speed to try and be in that 88 mile an hour category. I did have a harder time because this club definitely does feel lighter. So you'll notice my club speed was just a little bit faster there. Um, so Kind of interesting here, ball speed. We got seven miles an hour more ball speed with the D9 when we have seven degrees less loft on the golf club. Uh, you'll notice when you have less loft on a golf club, you'll notice the ball launched a little bit lower compared to the other two with 34 degrees of loft. Spin rate is gonna be significant. So you'll notice here, 5200 to 5400 was kind of the spin rate with the CB and the blade iron but you'll notice that 3931 was the spin rate with the Wilson Staff D9. That is the loft that's bringing that spin rate down. If we look here at distance, you want to hit the ball far, Wilson D9 goes far. Naturally, you'll notice here, 
carry distance is, we're talking about 25 yards further than the other two models. So if distance is what you're after and forgiveness is what you're after, the Wilson D9 for sure is kind of where it's at. But if you need a little bit more pinpoint accuracy and you need a little bit more spin on your irons, maybe you're a better ball striker and you want to work the ball a little easier, then you've got the CB and the blade models to hit and compare. Um, if we look here, height and landing angle, the staff model and the staff model CB, CB were definitely a little bit higher on the bull flight because they had a chance to stay in the air a little bit longer. Uh, you'll notice the Wilson Staff D9, 113 feet in the air, is still adequate, still very good. That, that landing angle still is well over 45 degrees, which is going to give plenty of stopping power. When I was hitting the D9, my carry was 206 going to 18, so it stopped within 12 yards. That is important to pay attention to when you do test these models out because if you try out the D9 and you're noticing that all of a sudden there's maybe 20 yard difference between your landing spot and where the ball ends up, then you might have a harder time stopping the ball in the green. You want to get that landing angle up a little bit higher if you can to give you stopping power. Um, yeah, so kind of really interesting test. You know, I haven't done much Wilson testing in the past, uh, but definitely have to make sure that we include Wilson in when we do club fittings here at Second Swing because you will notice it's performing really well and at a slightly lower price than its competitors. So Wilson staff, great irons, feel incredibly good with the blade and the CB. The D9 definitely is a little louder, a little firmer feeling for those players that need a little bit more forgiveness is a great option. I would recommend if you're coming in for a fitting, if you are pretty close to a stretch golfer to go with the staff blade option. If you're maybe kind of a scratch golfer to up to maybe about a 10 handicap, the CB model is a great option. If you have a handicap maybe 12, 15 or above, and you need a little extra distance, need to bring that spin rate down and get that height up a little bit more, the Wilson D9 is a great chance there for you to improve your golf game and give you that added forgiveness benefit that you'll get with this model. So come on into second swing, get fit, bring your trades in. We'd love to take your trades to help offset prices on new golf equipment. Come on in and get fit like a pro.